Hey everyone, how's it going? This is David Sauter from WhiteOnSlaughter.com. I am here with Sutherland Critique to uh, review Force Factor, Factor 2. Uh, first, a little bit about myself. Uh, I have 10 years in the fitness industry. Um, I am a personal trainer certified by NASM. I'm a group fitness instructor. I, I go through workshops and I also am a fitness writer. And today I'm here again with Sutherland Critique to go over uh, Factor 2 by Force Factor. Uh, okay, so a little bit uh, about the company. Um, uh, if you've watched my other reviews on this company, uh, you're going to hear the same spiel again. Uh, it is a company funded by two uh, Harvard University rowers. Um, and again, uh, all the supplements I've reviewed by them, they always seem to have a pretty unique blend in their formulas. So nine times out of ten, uh, I've seen nothing but proven, uh, well-researched ingredients. So. This is a, a company that uh, really has a few home runs uh, under their belt. Okay, so now for factor two, uh, a few noteworthy ingredients that I've found. Um, to back up a second here, this is a pre-workout NO booster. Um, and it's, it's a non-stimulant base, so you're not going to get any caffeine in this. Uh, for those of you who are looking for a more caffeine-based supplement, uh, you're not going to find it with factor two. Uh, but if you are very sensitive to caffeine, then this would be an excellent way to go. Um, again, a few no uh, noteworthy ingredients. They have L-citrulline, which is a known performance enhancer. Uh, works great with creatine. So if you don't already have creatine uh, in your daily supplement regimen, I would highly recommend putting creatine in there along with this. Um, and I'm kind of surprised when I read the back of the, the bottle because they don't have um, arginine in it. And those two together are fantastic. Yes, L-citrulline is a little bit more powerful than L-arginine, but uh, together the results are triple pretty much. Um, so they're both great NO boosters uh, together. So again, if you are taking that separately, something to take into consideration between the creatine and the L-arginine. It also has a coenzyme 10 or CoQ10. And what that does, uh, you'll see it on a lot of supplements uh, that are cardiovascular based, so cholesterol levels that need to be lowered, that'll have it in there. For this, it is a super antioxidant, and it does protect muscles during the intense workouts that you do. Um, kind of protects from the cortisol taking place and, and its uh, catabolic effects. Um, and it's great, as I said, outside of the gym, um, if you're older, if you have some blood uh, pressure issues or you just need to promote your cardiovascular health. It's a great way to go. And then, of course, it has you know, calcium, folic acid, vitamin C, your basic minerals, vitamins, and it also has some amino acids uh, in there as well. So from my personal experience, um, I use this during just basic training. I'm also training for 5K as well. Um, and I worked out about two or three days a week in the weight room, and I did about uh, two or three runs a week on top of that uh, separately. Again. Um, this was more speed-based performance, not mileage. Um, so I was trying, trying to get a specific time for the race. So that's what uh, this was great for. Um, my review on it, the pros, very positive. Um, again, I use it during my training. And while I was lifting in particular, I felt uh, definitely more full pump. So you definitely get that NO boosting quality that you're looking for with this. Um, whatever muscle group I'd worked that day, certainly I left the gym feeling much more pumped in that particular muscle area. Um, and then just to test the waters out, if you've watched my other review on uh, Volcano by Force Factor, I put the two together one day before a leg day just to kind of see what the results would be and they were tremendous. Um, if you're taking both, uh, take them both before leg day, 30 minutes before the workout you are going to see a phenomenal increase in energy and no boosting your legs are going to feel like giant tree stumps uh... it was excellent one of the best workouts i've had in a while again though you, once in a while i would do that i wouldn't do that all the time if you're considering it just because you don't want to build up a tolerance to these ingredients and that's my next point that's one of the cons uh... factor two i noticed toward the end of a one month supply I needed to increase the dosage. So this uh, has you doing about two capsules. Now you do it with breakfast, you do it before your workout. I noticed pretty quickly at the end of the, toward the end of the bottle that I needed more to get that same pump NO boosting effect that I had in the beginning. So that could become a real problem 
uh, if you don't cycle off. Okay, cycling, uh, as I'm sure you know, you take, let's say, four weeks on a product, you take a week or two off and get back on it to have the same effect. So unless you're doing that, you're gonna spend a lot of money buying this two, maybe even three times a month if you don't cycle off. Um, and again, this is non-stimulant. So the problem there is if you are a person who's very much adamant about having caffeine or some other thermogenic ingredient in your pre-workout supplement, this is probably not gonna be for you. And most times if, if you're running off of caffeine, a non-stimulant based pre-workout will not be enough for you. You won't even feel this. Uh, for the guys who are just starting out with supplements, trying to see what works best for them, if you'd like to cycle off of supplements to get it out of your system, this would be great. Absolutely great. Um, uh, and so for my conclusion with that, uh, this is a really good NO boosting supplement. Uh, again, for beginners, those going on new supplements, those who cycle. Um, I would not recommend this if you are big into those giant caffeine loaded supplements you'll think this is a waste of money because you won't feel a thing and just uh, a quick note uh, you know supplements work differently for everyone so please check out the rest of supplement critique uh, there's a lot of great well-rounded opinions on plenty of supplements out there uh, not just mine uh, and so by viewing all of these opinions, all of these reviews on other supplements, or the same one like Factor 2, you'll be getting perhaps a better review that will match your body type. Okay, again, so my name is David Sauter from rightonsauter.com. I'm here today with Supplement Critique, so please check out the rest of the site, and I'll see you guys next time.